and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a little more work on this image here from Heather Valentin's Tombstone Darlings coloring book. Um, I started this, if you haven't already seen it, I started this on a live stream that I did with uh, my coloring corner with Renee. It's on her channel, not on mine. So if you haven't already checked out her channel, please do so, and you can see the live stream we did together. Um, it was me, her, and Evelyn, and I'm sorry, Evelyn, I cannot remember the name of your channel right off the top of my head, but, um, yeah, so I started this, we each did a, an image by Heather Valentin, um, and I started this one, I was using Prismacolor Premier pencils, so, um, I will zoom in and we are going to do this wing over here the way I did this one here and maybe the other candles the same way as over here but yeah we'll we'll just see how far we can get here and let me zoom you in and I don't if I zoom in all the way you're not gonna be able to see the whole entire bat wing so I'm just going to leave it I think right about there as long as it doesn't seem too hard for you to be able to see what I'm doing now okay so on her wings um, <clears throat> I used black 90% cool gray Caribbean sea and white so I'm just gonna take the black and I'm gonna start up here and lay these off to the side. I'm gonna give this a quick little sharpen. There we go. And I'm going to just start right up here and at the top. I'm gonna use heavier pressure and then fade that down. And then I'm gonna go along each edge of this segment and fade it out. <clears throat> and down here you just want to make sure you leave a feathered edge for your next color to blend into okay color we're going to use is 90% cold gray. We'll go over everything we've already laid down, extend it out a little, and then feather that out. Trying my best not to go over her hair. So with these prismas, the uh, black will lay down on top of her hair, so. And then our next color is Caribbean Sea. 
Actually, give me one second. I'm gonna extend this a little further at the top here, like I did on the other side. There we go. Okay, now the Caribbean Sea. We'll go over everything we've done, putting those together. And feather it out. I left just a little bit of room in the center, which I did, uh, well, get down here to a little bit bigger section. Um, I left a little bit of white there. But what I did was, where my pencil barely, barely touches the paper, I just kind of put a little bit of this Caribbean Sea in that white area so that it's mostly white, but it has a tint of the blue just to give the white something so that it doesn't look completely white like over here um, after we put the white down on top. take my white and it might be a little difficult with this one because she has so much hair hanging over but you'll see better when we get to this next section but um, to blend this out I started on each on the one side and worked my way towards the center and then when I got to the center I stopped and went to the other edge and did the same thing from the outside to the center and then I went all the way across and do the same here. Okay. Before we move on to these other sections, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the bone on the outside of that. And what I did was I used the three lighter shades from the combination of her dress. And we will go over that again when we get to the candles, what the full combination for the dress was. Um, let me move that pencil out of the way. Okay. So I have pumpkin, orange, peach, and light peach. And so I'm going to take the pumpkin orange. I'm going to start on one of these over here so you can hopefully see a little better. Um, down here, I'm going to put a little bit of this on the bottom of the bone and blend that up fade that up <laughs> sorry and then from the top again a little heavier pressure and fade that down do the same on this next one Oh, I missed a section of the wing. Well, goodness. Okay, <laughs> I'll get that in just a second. Um, down here. 
Okay. And then this part here, I put a little bit where this meets this other part, and that sounds real technical. Yes, I know. No. <laughs> um. <clears throat> And then along the edges of this part, we'll put some of this pumpkin orange. Okay, and then take our peach, go over that. Make sure I didn't move it out of frame too much. We will go over that and blend that together together and fade it out and same down here go over what we laid down blend it out and then fade that up and do that on all of these whoops try not to go out of the lines like I seem to do a lot <laughs> blend over that and fade that up Okay, this over here is a little bit more tricky because there's not so much area because of the, uh, her hair that hangs over, but just do the best we can on that. Now we'll come back up here to this pointy little part, go over what we laid down, blend that up, and go around this little section okay now we'll take our light peach and go over all of it and we'll start um, sharpen my pencil first maybe i won't run out of the edge so much i'm gonna start on the pointy bit up here and blend that together and then in here, and then go down each one of these little bits. And down this little bone piece here. Same on this one. Okay. Now, wipe that off. Okay. <clears throat> and then we'll go back to our other color combination. We'll start on this next segment with our black. Again, heavier pressure at the top and fade that down. And then go along the edge here. Try not to run into the peach too much. A little feathered edge, and I'm gonna fix this while I'm thinking about it before I forget it again. This little part down here that I missed. Um, next, we're gonna use our 90% cool gray. Extend that out and make sure that you leave a feathered edge for the Caribbean Sea to blend into. Okay. 
Okay. Next is the Caribbean Sea. Go over this a little bit first. Okay, and then we'll come back up here and go over all of this. Blend that and fade that out a little. And lightly go over that center with the blue, just a little. Next, we'll use white. Again, we'll start at one side. Work our way to the center. And then start back from the other side and work your way to the center. And then all the way across. And the same down here. So that is blended out pretty well. Okay, and now let me do this little area down here that I had missed before. Okay. And then do this last section the same way so starting with the black heavier pressure and then fade that out along the edges here and fade that out Now with the 90% cold gray, <coughs> excuse me, I'll go over that, extend that out a little bit more. And then a Caribbean Sea. Go over top of everything and extend it out. And then barely touch the paper in the center. Okay. And now we're going to take our white again. <laughs> Start on one side. Work your way to the center and then start on the other side and work your way to the center and then go over the whole thing. Okay. 
<clears throat> and there we have her wings all done. And now I will show you how I did one of the candles and go over the color combination for that again since that is the color combination of her dress in case you didn't catch our live stream and are interested. Um, the colors that I used on her dress and the candles is Tuscan Red, Burnt Ochre, Pumpkin Orange, Peach, and Light Peach. Okay, so I'm going to take the Tuscan Red. Let me zoom you in a little bit more so you can see this little tiny candle. I'm going to take the Tuscan Red and I'm going to go right underneath of where you can see it's been melting down. I'm going to go under there and fade out. And then go down this side of the candle and down where it meets the little skeleton hand and fade that out. And then along up here, I'm just going to put some of this there and bring it around here and down a little. Okay, next with our burnt ochre, we'll go over what we laid down. Extend it a little bit and blend it out. The same up here. Next is pumpkin orange. Same thing. And then our peach. Do this real quick and then I think that's where we'll stop for today and we'll come back and we'll do um, some more on it probably the skull and maybe the background so light peach Okay, and that right there is how I did the candles and oh and the little skeleton hand I just used let's see not, not that let me find something to clean this off on sharpen as well so that will help too always want to make sure when you're using white and you go to use it over top of a new set of colors that you make sure your tip is cleaned off or it will transfer that color on there so I'm using eggshell cream and white and give this eggshell a little bit of a sharpen because this is some tiny areas here so i'm just going to take the eggshell and go kind of along one side and at the bottom where this bone is wider a little bit at the top there down the edge and just basically take the eggshell along one side there's not a lot of room on this part so um i'm probably not going to see a huge uh variation in color um, next to be cream go over what we laid down I'm gonna go over the whole thing with this cream and then we will go over top of that with our white just to lighten that up a little make it more like bone color instead of yellowy I guess And there we go. And that is actually how, let's see, we're at 25 minutes. That's actually how I'm going to handle the bones down here as well. So uh, we'll do a little bit of that real quick before we go. So eggshell. 
I'm going to take it along this edge. And since the artist has drawn lines in here, I'm going to <clears throat> put more of this eggshell right there and blend it out. Then a little bit along this edge and around. And then I'm going to take my cream and I'm going to go over that. I'm going to fill that in and then I'm going to take my white and go over all of that to lighten that up just a little. That's also, this is also how I did the bones in her hair. Um, up here, the bones sticking out of her hair. That's how I did that, those as well. Okay, and we'll go and do the skull. So, eggshell. After I throw my pencil around, um, I'm gonna turn my eraser real quick. So, I did get some of the black or the gray onto the skull from the tombstone. A little bit, and I really don't want that on the skull. Okay. So again with the eggshell and for the skull, I'm just, I'm going to take this eggshell probably all the way around the edge here and follow the crack just around there and under the teeth and kind of under the eye, just and under the nose and then the cream go over top of that and I'm probably gonna fill the eyes all the way in with the gray or black um, and then go over that with white just to lighten that up And then I think for the teeth, I'm just going to take the cream and do a light base of this over the teeth. And then go over that with the light as well. But you can do yours however you feel. I don't want them bright white, but I don't want them quite the same as the rest of it. So, let's do that. And then we'll do this other bone real quick. And I think that will be where we will end today's video. So again, a little bit of this eggshell and fade out. More along this edge where the lines are. And around the bone. And a tiny bit along this edge here. And then we'll fill the rest of that in with the cream, just lightly. And we will go over that with the white. All right. Okay. All right, let me zoom you out. And that is where we are right now. So like I said, I'm going to do this other candle off camera and get the other tombstone done. Um, and for the tombstone, I use, let's see. 15, 20, uh, what is this? Um, hmm, okay. So for tombstones, I used black, 90% French gray, 50% French gray, and 20% French gray. And yeah, so um, I will finish all that off camera and when we come back we'll probably tackle the crystal ball and the background but all right i want to thank you for watching 
and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up it really helps out my channel um, leave me a comment down below and if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to the channel um, and I thank you until next time stay safe and happy coloring bye guys